Hi, I'm Hayden. I'm Kim. I'm Brad. We're 626 Ohana, California, and tonight we are doing something extremely fun for Halloween. Yeah, so you notice we're in the car. We are waiting. <laughs> and we're gonna do... The LA Haunted Hayride, the live drive-up experience. Yeah, so we'll bring you what we feel about it, what we think of it. Um, we're doing this as a little bit of a replacement for what we normally do, is, which is the Hollywood. The Universal <laughs> Halloween Horror Nights and Disneyland of uh, Oogie Boogie's Bash. Um, so this is just kind of a different idea during this strange year. Yeah, so. and we're also going to have an opinion of a young teen and see if he likes it or if it's scary or what he thinks of it. Yeah, and to be honest, as parents, we're, we're, we're a little on the fence. Like, was this really a good idea? It's recommended 13 and older. We're technically okay, supposedly. <laughs> but we'll tell you if um, Hayden feels comfortable. We have done the Platinum Experience tonight, which is exciting. Yeah, so it means we'll get the front row. We did pay more for it, but this is our one Halloween event we're doing this year. So I'm still working on convincing him to do more. <laughs> So we'll let you know what it's like. Uh, the prices for it start out at $49. It's $49.99 all the way up to the Platinum like we're doing is $199.99. And basically for everything um, VIP down to general, it's two people per car and then they can have a second and third um, passenger for $9.99 per person. Or the VIP comes with up to eight people. So if you have a large SUV, if you have a large SUV or minivan, then it comes down to $25 per person. So I was gonna tell you, we're supposed to get our own um, outdoor private uh, hay ride wagon to sit on during the drive-in experience. There's supposed to be scarecher there, but we have to wear our masks. So from there, we'll show you what we can. There are some things that we're not allowed to film, so we right. we're not gonna film, but we'll show you everything again. We'll let you know what we think of it. And we'll see if we get, we'll definitely show you guys around when we get inside what it's like. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is All Hollows Lane when we get going. What that is is gonna be experience. It's supposed to be a kind of a eerie kind of drive-in experience from what I'm getting, but they're not gonna have people pop out like mazes because they don't want accidents. Okay, so uh, please like, subscribe, and follow along with our Ohana. And of course, we'll give you any tips and tricks we find along the way. And we're gonna get going, but <laughs> right now we're in a this car line. line. <laughs> so we'll see you when we get on the other side of there. <laughs> In midnight falls, every single day of the year. Okay, so you can tell we're home. <laughs> so we thought we'd do a review for you about what our evening was like. Yeah, unfortunately it's a little dark in the truck so we couldn't get very good lighting so we wanted to make sure you could see us. So Hayden, for you, since it's late, what did you think? Um, I think it was a really fun experience. It, I feel like it's kind of like for like how old you should be. Like, I feel like you could be a little bit younger than 13 to see it, but it was still very, very fun. Were you scared? Uh, it, I, I, it, it kind of felt a little scary because at first you're not expecting what it, what's going to happen, and it kind of seems like it's going to be something like people going to pop up, but instead it, so it was like different. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so you liked it? Yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down? Um, I like it, I'd give it a thumbs up. Would and you, you said something in the car that would have been better. What? What would have made it better? Uh, having friends along. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna send him off to bed okay. since it's late tonight. Go to bed. Okay. Okay, so we all, we sent him off to bed. Yeah, <laughs> school uh, day tomorrow. We're, yeah, we might it, be bad parents. It, so this was the this premiere one. night. This is opening night for them. But it's the end of the night. We took the last showing because that's what they had. That's what was left. <laughs> yeah, so um, so the drive-in was fairly easy once we lined up and they checked us in, put a little tag on the car, and then they... The only thing I didn't like is when we first came in, they grabbed my phone, and then after that, I was like, uh, with, they had gloves on, but they touched everybody else's phone, so I wasn't a fan of that. Uh, that's just uh, me. Yeah. We had hand sanitizer in the car, so we were fine. Yeah. We had, everybody was wearing masks and everything. Yeah, that they did. So anyways, let's get back to the happy stuff. We drove in. It was fairly easy once we found it. Um, and again, you know, if you're going to these nationwide and around the nation, right. make sure you have a map <laughs> where you're going. Yeah. Because where we went was actually Raging Waters parking, parking lot. lot. <laughs> One of them, use, yeah. That they use. So uh, it was kind of interesting. It's kind of hard to find. but uh, Well, because they only... They had you kind of go a back way in. Mm -hmm. So once we found it, we got there. Uh, we had a way back. Uh, they told us to be there like 20 minutes before. Yeah, but they actually let us in a little before uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah. So uh, we got there. We actually got there. Like well, 9.30. Yeah. Uh, actually worked out perfectly. Yeah. So we drove in and they have a little bit of some houses and like kind of like mazes, would you say? I would say it almost is probably what I they use out in the haunted, the LA haunted hayride theming outside, but they just brought it over for you to drive through. Yeah. But no, without I've, the people popping out in the scare. Well, yeah, actors. obviously you don't want to do that with people driving their yeah. cars and hitting the gas <laughs> and going, oh yeah, it could be a disaster. Uh, it could be a whole nother kind of <laughs> Halloween event. <laughs> Uh, but they had some neat things, and we'll show you some of them here. We don't want to run the whole thing. So we'll just show you some parts. And then they had a guy that was kind of making fun of people as you kind of went through, and the yeah. announcer booth was kind of fun. Yeah, people. I like that. So we got there, and then pulled up, backed up, and they had a... Basically, it was a trailer with some hay and chairs. No, no, no. it's what they use for the hay rides. Yeah, but it's basically a flatbed trailer. Yeah, it's a, it's a the hay ride wagon and they put eight chairs in there and they have a hay bale and they actually had some pumpkins and like a cool little flickering uh they had a cool flickering lantern yeah and yeah. i liked i thought the um they created a different kind of ambiance for the platinum and yeah. that was nice yeah it wasn't too hard to get up in that trailer truthfully the step wasn't no that it was big. no it was uh, great um as far as the platinum I liked being outdoors. Yeah, it was nice. That was a nice part because everybody else, unfortunately, were in their cars behind us. And so you had the yeah. VIP or the other sections behind us. And they had their cars off, windows up. And then they had to turn their t stereo into yes. the... the what are The channel that they had. Yeah. So, so when you're outdoors, the everything's piped in. So when we were sitting on the, the hayride, the speakers were really loud. We could yeah. hear everything that was an issue. I think they just do it to try to protect everybody else when they're in their cars. I don't know, because they leave space in between cars, so there's plenty of room for the scare actors to walk through yeah. and social distance between I the don't cars. Know. It's not six feet in between the cars, though. I think they were a little bit, maybe a little bit closer than six feet. Okay. And maybe that's why they wanted the windows up and everybody... It just covers. It, it's a good idea yeah. at that point. But where we were sitting, that we literally hadn't... Nobody around us, hardly. Right, so you'd be in the open hay wagon, and then you'd have your car, and then would be the next wagon over. Yeah. So you definitely had a whole car's worth between you and the other wagon. Yeah, and then another thing to think about is, unfortunately, I drive, well, I don't drive a big truck. It's a smaller, mid-sized truck. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I had a small Honda that was parked right behind us. So yeah. uh, it's something to be aware of if you do this. That was a VIP row. Yeah, they were in the VIP row, which is just one behind the platinum row. So I could imagine that they might have felt a little yeah. blocked, and I felt really bad. But unfortunately, right, they, that's they where we were to park. That's why the nice thing about the platinum is, is we were out, we could look around and see everything. We didn't have anything blocking yeah. us. But I will say the general, as you looked around and we panned around, is they had screens further back, and as we turn around during the night, uh, there were scare actors all over back there. So yeah. it wasn't like they weren't. Um, getting that experience. Yeah, they were getting the full experience yeah. and they were walking through and everything. I think I just, you couldn't get out of the car. 
here yeah. second current. Uh, another thing to be aware of, there is no refreshments, no drinks or anything like that. Right. Uh, there was a little part in the film that said something about um, beverages and stuff. Maybe it's because they do it elsewhere. I think the they nation. do. Yeah, I think they do productions everywhere else. Yeah. And talking about elsewhere through the nation is that we noticed, I noticed on a couple of films is that they were done by, it looked like student, college students. Yeah. That were doing film. It would make sense. So getting back to the night, we get in and before the, the drive-in movie starts, they had some scare actors going around yeah. and I didn't even realize they were going to do that. So I I definitely, uh, the first one I saw, I kind of jumped a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was acting like he was sanitizing everything. Yeah, but it was. <laughs> it was fun. Um, Hayden, as far as Hayden, I didn't, I couldn't tell. Well, he had a mask on. Yeah, he had a mask on the whole time. But I think he enjoyed it. It yeah. wasn't. Uh, if I was going to give this a rating for this particular one, and if you're going to go to ones around the nation or anything, double check what they do. Right. I would give it a mild PG-13. It really wasn't... There were some gory parts in the movie, but they almost well, made movie, it... Well, movie, yeah. They made seem, it funny. Yeah, they made it almost... And we definitely yeah, don't want to ruin for... scary. We definitely don't want to ruin for you, and we didn't film, because they did ask us not to film during that time. Right, and we will always respect, respect that. that. Um, but the only thing, the worst thing is that they, any swear words were beeped out. Yeah, so it was almost like you knew they wanted, they were using them, but they got beeped out. And then there was anything else that yeah. I don't think, there wasn't really anything that was... I don't feel bad that we took Hayden. I was no. wondering beforehand if it, I, he was going to be up with, like, I, I we went too far with Halloween. This was not your universal... Uh, this is not your Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights or no. not Scary Farm, and you're like, oh my goodness, what have I done? Yeah. No, this is very put this, I put this in between maybe the Universal and Mickey's Not So Scary. That's a fair evaluation. There it's, you go. It sticks, right in, it sticks right into that middle part. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't scary. Hayden said it, like Hayden said, he he didn't feel that scary, scared about it. Uh, yeah, but it, and this is a kid who, unfortunately, when we went to Universal February, we went before this whole virus. The, the, the whole thing went is that, he, and that's the Universal Studios Hollywood we went to, and yeah, they still had the Walking Dead, Dead maze. Maze, and he just he wouldn't go on it. He, he got to the front door, looked at there, and he's like, "I'm not going through that." So. And so um, we were concerned that he might feel that way going into this, but it was nothing like this. No. This was like a slapstick comedy horror. Is to the way me, to put it. it was fun. There was actually funny parts. To yeah, it. no, definitely. To me, it almost felt like it felt like a weird genre, like the scary movies. The kind of like they make fun of scary movies they are, but they're kind of scary parts to it. But it feels like. There, there's so much slapstick comedy in it. I yeah. actually found myself laughing a lot. It was fun. It was, but I'm going to say this right out front. The scare actors were incredible. They had a social distance, probably different than a lot of events that they may have performed in, in years past. They were very theatrical. It was a very theatrical production, for sure. Yeah, I mean, with the limitations they have, there's just... Unfortunately, this year... It's, this is why we did it. it was, yeah. This was what we had for this year. So. But like I said, they were dancing. They were getting. They were trying to be creepy in their movements and their expressions. And some of them were talking when they were out, like just little blurts here and there. Mm -hmm. um, when they were around the platinum area, because we were outside. Yeah, so they could talk to us. That's yeah. obviously we didn't have windows to roll down or anything like that. Someone had said something six feet away, mm -hmm. kind of thing. Well, no, they, they came up to us yeah. at six. They were kind of joking around. We're right. They were making it seem spooky, but a holiday. But you, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't like they were. Right. On, they weren't right yeah. on tops. They were. More no, than six they feet. definitely did more than six feet at times. Uh, most of the time, it, it was well over six feet. Now the question comes down: Was it worth the cost? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. yes and no. Um, <laughs> if we had a full car, definitely worth the cost. It would have been a fun yeah. time to go to and do. Unfortunately, it was just three of us. It puts us over fifty dollars a person for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it, we would have had the full um, wagon with the eight people, it would have been twenty five dollars a person. Which would have been a great time. It would have been fun. Right. Oh my goodness! If this wasn't social distancing and you had a group out there having fun, I think it'd be great. If yeah. We were glad to be outside. Yeah, I don't know how I would have felt being the in a v car. I, the VIP section, I would have been kind of... Yeah, I would have felt gypped. 
Yeah, unfortunately, because it, it's like I said, for my the situation, the car was behind me. Yeah. It was a small Honda. But it's not even just that that the the actors were so engaged outside of the other rows. Now, granted, tonight was not packed. Mm -hmm. I feel like the well, general they, tickets could have had a great deal. Yeah, too. yeah, I think they had a great deal. Yeah. Uh, the VIP, they did have the actors going back to them and everything else. Yeah, they just, did. It's just they weren't outside. They were just closer to the very front of the whole front right. uh, um, thing that the you screen. see. The screen. And um, as on, I'll show it yeah. right now. But And then you could probably see the dancers on the, pl on the platforms, platforms and the acts that were going on the platforms better than you could in the general area. But if you're looking for the movies and the characters, they were out and about. Mm -hmm. Now, where we sat was right in front of the screen, which was great. Yeah, we were literally uh, right dead on dead, center. Almost dead center. <laughs> and that was a perfect place. But there was one character, I'm not going to ruin it, that was on stilts that looked really, really cool. And I was hoping to get a picture. But because it was in front of the screen, that particular um, character did not come to our area. So if I were in the Platinum, I'd want to be one or two over so we could see that character specifically. Because mm -hmm. um, it seemed like a really cool character. We definitely think it's worth it to go once. Um, this isn't something I would go to multiple times like I would a universe, one of the theme park um, mazes. Yeah, and it was actually fairly short. It was only yeah. about 40, 45 minutes long total. With the drive through and I felt like time just... Yeah. So... To me, I'm yes and no on the price. So it was fun to do. It's one thing that for our Halloween that we're going to do this year. Right. And considering that Halloween looked like it was not going to happen at all, I'm thrilled this event is here. <laughs> so with that, I think we're going to go ahead and close up and uh, say, well, happy Good. Halloween. No, not quite yet. <laughs> Aw. It's all, okay. You know what? It's fall. Happy uh, Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, it's time to say goodbye and... Find, Find your, your magic. magic. Bye, Bye everyone. Everybody.